In this video, I'm going to show you how you can build a rag pipeline locally and talk to mixed troll model by using your own document. I'll be using Google Colab for this demo, but you can use any local Linux instance, or if you are using Windows, then you can use any uh, shell subsystem for Linux in the Windows. Also, I'll be using Haystack in order to build the rag pipeline. And I have another video wherein I, where I tell you in detail what exactly Haystack does and how to use it. And I'll also try to explain in this video as what exactly um, I'm using this Haystack in the code. Now, if you're not aware of Mixtrol, Mixtrol is a new model which has been released a couple of days ago by Mistral AI. It's a high quality sparse mixture of expert model or SMOE with open weights. This Mixtrol model has been licensed under Apache 2 and Mixtrol has already shown that it can outperform Llama to 70 billion on most benchmarks with six times faster inference. It is the strongest open weight model with a permissive license and the best model overall regarding cost performance trade-offs. It has already outperformed on uh, or bashed GPT 3.5 on most standard benchmarks. It also handles around 32K tokens context window. It handles five languages, including English, French, Italian, German, and Spanish. It has also shown strong performance in code generation. It can be fine tuned into an instruction following model that achieves a score of 8.3 on empty bench. Okay, so this is a quick introduction into Mixtrol, and I have a lot of other videos which you, where you can read about it. So for this one, let me show you the code. Let me spin up my Google Colab quickly. So I'm just going to the Google Colab. So this is my Google Colab. Let me start it up. And you can simply also just start a free version of it. You don't have to spend anything, which is a great thing about it. I normally go with GPU, which is free again. You can even do CPU with it. Okay, that's cool. The first thing we need to do is to install the prerequisites. The first prerequisite I'm going to install is farm haystack, which we will be doing for our um, rack pipeline. And capture just makes it uh, less cluttered as far as the output is concerned. Let's wait for it. And while it happens, also, let me show you one more thing. You need to go to Hugging Face website. From there, log in with your email for a free account, then click on your photo at the top right. And from this picture, just click on settings and you'll be presented with here on the left hand side, access token and grab this access token from here because you would need it shortly. Okay, so that's done. Okay, now it is still being installed as you can see. Okay, now it is done. So we need to provide our hugging face token. So click on plus code. Okay, restart session. We we'll need to restart it. Yes, so that it will load everything in the memory. Okay, so I am going to use this get pass to specify my hugging face token. And I'll just say, yeah, hugging. Token and let's close it. Run it and it is going to ask you hugging face token. Grab your hugging face token from here. Go back and then press enter. There you go. You have set your hugging face token. You can even set it in your um, environment variable if you like it that way. Now in this code chunk, I'm just importing the preprocessor and uh, to prepare our data and then also it gives us access to model functions because it provides us flexibility to define custom prompt templates so processor model and template let's wait for it to import that's done click on plus code again now in the next step what we are going to do we are going to use google collabs own functionality to upload a file I'll just type it here. 
and then click run it is giving you a cool nice interface to select your file click on choose file and i'm going to simply select an oracle dba document which you can download from internet or you can use your own pdf file let's wait for it to finish should take too long so our file is almost done i guess let's wait for it to come back okay so it is saved and it has also printed some of the output from that file again plus code and here quickly let's install this py pdf2 package which helps us in manipulating this uh, pdf document because we need to clean it up and load it and do other stuff that's done and now let's run this code so what this code is doing and let me actually remove this and give go here and this is our file name click or rename file and then just replace your file name here now i'm importing that py pdf2 and then importing the document from haystack specifying my pdf file path which i already have uploaded to this google colab and then in this function i'm extracting the text from this video and then storing it in this text variable as you can see in video file and then extracting the calling this function okay and then i am simply loading this document in this doc with the help of this document uh, module from haystack cool. okay so as a next step what we need to do we need to uh, clean up this or pre-process this document we need to remove all the files um, i mean all the empty lines white spaces and that sort of stuff because that is needed so let me show you the code for it so first we are getting the list out of it and then we are using the pre-processor if you remember we imported it in the previous step that's done fairly quick and now let's process this file That's also done very quick and you can ignore this warning if you get any for your document for now. Okay, that is cool then. Okay, now now we need to use our in-memory database just to process this document and we are using this BM25 ranking algorithm for it. So let's run it. Should be very quick as you can see. And now specify our haystack pipeline. There you go. And again, we are using the BM25 retriever to retrieve what has been placed in um, that in memory data store. That is also done. And now we need to specify our prompt template. So the prompt template, which I'm going to use, will be very specific. Let me plus code if you see this prompt template what it is doing is it is saying that only use the information contained in the context and context is what we have just defined in our pdf file and i'm telling it that if the answer cannot be deduced from the context just reply i don't know because it is not relevant to the context okay that is cool then and now let's specify our model which is mixed troll and i'm using instruct one for this so let's run it it is downloaded all the tokenizer and stuff we already have provided our hugging face so it will go straight to hugging face and now let's specify our rag pipeline from this um, haystack and we are specifying our retriever and our prompt which we have done that is also fairly quick as you can see and now let's define our print answer function which is just a wrapper on top of uh, pretty print just to make it easier to look that is done and now let's ask it a few of the questions so all i'm doing it let me paste how you can do the inference on it i'm just going to ask it what is oracle dba and then question mark and then the doubles this 
let's run it so it is going to go into the document which we have uploaded which is related to oracle dba and you can see that there is a typo in my oracle but still it was able to do it which is pretty cool let's ask it one question which is which has nothing to do with document and see if it is able to tell us it is out of context i just say why line is king of jungle there you go so the context does not provide information about the reason why line is king of jungle so there you go uh, you can see that you, we were able to build a rag pipeline with our own PDF file, our own context by using this mixtron method or model. So I'll be pasting all of these commands, um, the link to them in my video's description so that you can simply copy paste. I hope that you enjoyed it. If you have any questions or if you're stuck anywhere, let me know and I'll be happy to help. And if you like the content, please consider subscribing to the channel. Thank you very much.